I will be building the hyper coaster in one minute, ten minutes, and one hour. And the one minute starts right now. Okay, of course we're going to have a station and then just straight up into the chain lift. Of course, it's it's called a hyper coaster, but I do feel like the first part of the hyper coaster is not going to be this high, so it's going to be called a hyper coaster. It's now just called a normal roller coaster. But oh well, who cares? Okay, so my plan is literally just to sort of make a turn and then I guess then just reset. We're going to have one air time hill since I do feel like that is just one key thing that is from a hyper coaster. So of course we're going to go <laughs> down like this, which is looking um interesting. Okay, I'm going to add a turn like this and then we're going to like pivot offset. Okay, and then we're going to continue this turn. If we're on 15 seconds left, I think we're actually pretty much on track. So if I now reset this and then make a break. Okay, all right. Well, here we have our one minute wall hyper coaster, however you want to call it. Let, let's have a ride. So it definitely takes a while before you are at the top, but actually we are now here. Let's just go into the POV camera. So we have this um, quite bad turn actually into this airtime hill where you're not really having airtime. And then we have this, oh, oh God, that looks, okay, that looked terrible. And then into the brakes, which do a bit of weird stuff. It's definitely a little bad roller coaster for one minute, but I think we can do something way better in 10 minutes and i'm going to be placing the station actually just right there for the 10 minute coast i'm going to make that a little bit longer and of course now we're actually going to go up a lot higher and then of course we need to sort of drop down that looks good enough we are actually really high i don't even know how high the coast is to be fair but we'll be looking pretty steep and of course we want quite a steep drop not not vertical but like as steep as that that's looking very cool and then of course another airtime hill that's mainly just these <laughs> these these coasts aren't aren't they they're just airtime hill airtime hill airtime hill i have a very cool idea for the one hour coaster so make sure you keep watching until the end so let's already start to add a bit of pivot offset just so this is going to be a bit smoother and <laughs> instead of what we have with the one minute coaster that was let's just say not ideal look this looks good enough and then we're i guess just going to sort of continue this turn but then it's going to go up they're going in this airtime hill but you're already sort of like rotating and um, i guess i'm just going to reset this and uh, every airtime hill is just going to be a little bit lower than the one previous now i think we are slowly getting at the end of the roller coaster that means we will have to make a turn but how am i going to be doing that i, gu I guess just first i will actually let's first just go down we have around seven minutes and 20 seconds left so we still have like actually quite a lot of for this roller coaster so let's just i guess first try to make a turn like this with a bit of a hard line that looking good and then we're just going to go up a little bit more and then we're rotating all the way to the other side and i guess we're now just going to go back and yeah of course if we keep turning like this we're going to hit the track right there so we don't want that so that means we're going to rotate this track also all the way to the other side again and then i guess this airtime hill already here is going to be a bit smaller are we actually going yeah i guess we're going pretty much sides to it this airtime hill is looking i think that says just just no words i think <laughs> or enough and i maybe we can even put put like an uh, a block break section here it is still quite a long way back home but um no, I think we can manage it. So if I put it like here and then just one, two, three, four block breaks. And then we're just going to turn back. It is just going to be a very standard coaster. I feel like I'm going to be spending more time on actually trying to make the coaster make it to the end. Since I do not know if it actually is going to do that. So we have a little bit less than five minutes. I'm, I'm, I'm literally just going to add a lot of airtime hills. This is looking uh, very um, exciting, isn't it guys? <laughs> <laughs> airtime hill after airtime hill one eternity later i'm actually going to make this all the way back to the ground and then i guess we're just going to go up into the brakes that are then going to be displayed like this one two and then one two three four block breaks and just like one two more breaks and then we need to make actually the turn into there that's looking good enough okay now we're going to change all the operations so i'm definitely going to increase the chain lift and change that block breaks probably almost off okay i'm going to have a look if this now actually makes it to the end and while we're in the coast i guess we can also have a look at the colors hmm maybe maybe orange or orange I don't know if orange is going to look good. Maybe maybe we actually do some, some red and then some very dark gray. I don't know how that is going to be looking. I feel like this then also should be red. So far, we're actually making it pretty good over these hills. Ooh, this is actually looking pretty cool. And then I guess the supports are going to be the same color. We're actually going pretty quick. I might actually have to slow down. It's, of course, it's definitely going to slow down a little bit here. I would actually say it's going way too quick over these. Okay, I actually need to change the operation. So I guess just this to normal. 
small like, I'm, I'm going to have a look so i am actually really happy with this coast of course it's nothing extremely special it does nothing really cool it's literally just the hills and bumps and that's really it but it actually has some nice pacing so let's have a look actually at the pov so we are all the way up to the chain lift and we actually have a really nice view from up here and yeah the coast is really steep definitely it, there's nothing really for me to tell that much it's literally just air town hills and this turn is actually pretty smooth i was really surprised by how smooth it is and then of course here we have the section where we're of course going back it's not the most special thing in the world for the one hour coaster i have a very cool idea for that but while we're watching actually the pv as you can see only like six percent is actually subscribed on my channel so if you're enjoying this video so far and you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and it helps a lot and we are now at the end so let's have a look at the one hour coaster and uh for the one hour coaster i'm going to be placing the station actually a little bit more in the middle of my plot which does sound a bit weird i definitely agree with that but i'm going to start with like a a small turn at the start that definitely of course needs to go down otherwise realism and then we're going to make this coaster high i want to go even higher than the red coaster here of course previously made so at the start it's going to be a very small straight piece that's just a bit more realism and then we are going to go up and i feel like this isn't the right height it's like <laughs> it's a lot higher as the red coaster as you can see so and then we're of course going to have this and i actually want to probably make this drop vertical so we're going to make it 90 degrees going down. That that looks pretty much vertical, doesn't it? But I feel like it needs to be longer. Well, what if what if we make it actually more than vertical? Just just at that, like. <laughs> Okay, that that I feel like that's going to be very scary doing that in, if if this goes it will be in real life. So first corner that I want to do is actually a, like half of a helix. You can sort of like compare it to Intimidator 305 if I'm correct, uh, where it's just like a massive turn with very high G forces. So we're going to make this just a lot longer, and I guess just with a little bit of tricks we're actually going to already sort of rotate like that. That's maybe a bit much. Definitely going to be rotating this even more. I would almost say like 90 degrees, and then we're going to go up. So yeah, the start is very just a bit the same as that. But now I actually want to start changing this. Since I actually discovered you can make inversions on the hypercoaster last week. So I was like, oh well, then this is perfect to actually try and do that. So the only like hypercoaster I know in real life that has an inversion is Hyperion. It has like this sort of like dive loop. So I definitely want to try and curate that somewhere. But first let's just make this go up. And we, we definitely need a big airtime hill I feel like. But this already, oh my god, look how big, <laughs> look how big, it doesn't even fit on the screen, it just, it just <laughs> okay, actually I already want to test it, let me just quickly change some of this stuff already, and we have already almost spent 5 minutes on this, and we've literally only have the lift hill and then one hill, so yeah, you can already see like the higher you go, the longer it actually takes to make the whole layout, but I feel like the rest is going to go a little bit quicker, but this coaster is high as you can see and the thing is like you're not going to be seeing like the drop like the coaster just constantly keeps dropping and dropping as you can see just goes down goes down and there you <laughs> and then we have this turn which that actually is pretty decent and then we go into this airtime hill where it actually goes with a very good pace now i actually want to add the element where you're like going back since we're now of course going to this side here so that means we have to go up again and go down ish and then i I feel like this moment here is going to start rotating. It doesn't matter if you rotate right or left. I don't think it matters too much. So we're going to rotate like this. And then I will have to look out for the plot. Since that's of course also very close. There we go. And then of course all the way back to the ground. And now I actually want to sort of add an airtime hill. That's a bit bit weird as you can see an ejector hill a speed hill wherever you want to call it to be fair. All right there we go. That's already what we have. The profiling is a bit weird on some stuff but it might also because there's no supports and it's just completely trying i actually want to see how it goes through here and there we go that is actually really really good and then we have this yeah very fast air to mail okay actually i am starting to really really like this what i'm going to be doing i'm going to end this coast in a quick time lapse and we'll be back with you guys when the whole coast is actually finished
the roller coaster is done and I have to say I'm actually pretty happy with the end result as you can see we had like 35 minutes left on the clock which is I know not one hour but I'm already done and there is not a lot you can actually add to a hyper coaster a hyper coaster is a hyper coaster and I've tried to add as much as possible as like these quick transitions and the inversion it does and just making a lot higher than it should be and yeah I just really like it as you can see it is going really really quick through the layout that's why this lock break up here is quite strong so it definitely breaks quite harsh there and then of course you have the ending with the helix right there but I am very very happy and it just actually looks very cool especially when you're just looking from down here like this coaster I know I, I am actually really happy with it so there is one thing of course left to do and that is of course to watch the POV so guys I want to thank you for watching I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and subscribe on my channel and let's have a look